This is a short video on neoplasms of the salivary glands. We're going to be talking about four neoplasms that are found in the salivary glands. Two of them are cancer and two of them are benign tumors. Let's start with pleomorphic adenoma. Pleomorphic adenoma is the most common benign salivary gland tumor. It's usually found in the parotid gland, which is the salivary gland that's up in your cheeks. It's pleomorphic. Pleomorphic means it has a variable appearance architecturally. And this means that there are essentially two sections of this cancer. There's a parenchymous gland and there's also a stroma. So you can kind of divide the adenoma and you can kind of see those two sections in that top image on the right. You diagnose pleomorphic adenoma with fine needle aspirations, which has a pretty good sensitivity. You could also use ultrasound, CT, or MRI. That's actually an ultrasound shown on the bottom right there. But fine needle aspiration has the best sensitivity. You treat pleomorphic adenoma with surgical resection. Uh, it's called a parotidectomy if it's, if it's done to the parotid gland, but this is a recurrent issue. When you remove pleomorphic adenoma, the edges, the boundaries of the tumor aren't always well-defined, so it tends to recur. But it's important to resect it every time because it can become cancer. Next is Warthin's tumor. The actual name for Warthin's tumor is shown there. This is the second most common benign salivary gland tumor, so still benign. Also usually found in the parotid gland. On histology, you see germinal centers, cystic spaces, many lymphocytes on histology, and you also see nuclei that have condensed chromatin. This is called pycnotic nuclei. This disease is associated with smoking and is usually found in older people. Tumor is slow growing and often painless. This is Warthin's tumor. Next is mucoepidermoid carcinoma. This is the most common malignant salivary gland tumor, so this is cancer usually starts in the parotid, can also be found outside of the salivary gland. On histology, you see mucinous cells and squamous cells, kind of like the name would imply. Muco, mucinous cells, epidermoid, squamous cells. Tumor is slow growing. It's often painless, just like Warthin's tumor. And this tumor has, has been suggested to be associated with CMV, cytomegalovirus. Next is another malignant tumor. This is adenoid cystic carcinoma. This is the second most malignant salivary gland tumor. This one's common in the submandibular gland. So if there's a tumor in the submandibular gland, it's most likely adenoid cystic carcinoma. It can also involve other tissues. This one's also slow growing, and it tends to have distant metastases as far as the breast, the trachea, the sinuses, could be in the brain and the lungs. Treatment for this one is also surgical resection. Radiation usually follows that surgical resection. This has been a summary of four neoplasms of the salivary glands. I hope it was helpful.